Uh, this is my favorite YouTuber. What's your YouTube name now? Billy Kid Matt. Billy Kid Matt, it's Ryan. There's my angel, Bree. Eh? All right, you guys get out of here. I don't like kids. Get out of here. Speaking of kids, when I was a kid, uh, I grew up. Surprise! Huh? Surprise! I grew up on this street, Gall Street. Gall and Clearfield. Gall and Clementine. In the middle. I lived on this Gall Street. So, I got up. Uh, don't pay any attention to my finger. So, I got this idea. I'm just going to walk around Port Richmond on Sundays. Happy Sunday. Uh, this is going to be a, a, like a little... I'm going to pick a street, walk down the street, and tell you the stories of what it was like in the 80s. This behind me at Gall and Clearfield. Uh, oh, this is hard. This is at Gall and Clearfield. This was the greatest corner store in the city it was called ethel's it was run by gracie and john uh and it was it it had like a 50s type feel uh the back on this section of the store was a counter and there were some stools and at the end of the counter there was a, a tray of pretzels and they had mustard in a glass jar and you put the mustard on with a paintbrush uh, they would have either a pinball machine or an arcade game right when you walked in. And they also had an arcade game when you walked in the back. And on this side here, this used to be an entrance. On the side there, there was like two or three counters. And, uh, I, and I was a, a little boy. My allowance was $2 a week. And my mom and dad uh, uh, would give me my allowance. And I would come here with that $2 and get a cheeseburger... And uh, it came with a pickle on the side and a drink for under two dollars. So, all right. So this is gauze. That used to be a hairdresser's. That's Elena's place. Now that opened up right before I moved out of the street. It's still open. Uh, I've only been there once. Nice little corner bar. So I lived here right before, from like kindergarten to uh, uh God, kindergarten third grade uh, see this this alleyway used to be open and that way you used to cut to chatham street and we used to race our big wheels around the block hey how you doing What's up, buddy? hey and then that tree that was planted right before i moved out so that was a baby tree and uh now look at it it's bigger than the houses i mean i remember when that tree was held up with string crazy and then we got uh yeah, that's my old house. I used to sit on these steps and uh, play games and walk around. Uh-oh. But same brick front outside, everything. But I used to sit on those steps, sell my artwork. And I remember these two teenagers came up. I was selling these little pictures I drew. And these kids came up and they, uh, they set my pictures on fire. And I was very sad. And my mom... My mom consoled me. I was crying. I, I thought I was going to be... They were awful pictures. They should have been burnt. Uh, and all my my friends lived next door to me. My one friend lived in the White House. Uh, this is Gall and Malt Company. This uh, has changed names a few times. But this is the best it's ever been. Uh, I forget what it used to be called. But the best cheesesteak. The best uh, sandwich in the city is made at Gall and Malt Company. It's the Wither Withowski. It's a cheesesteak made with kibasi meat, but not real kibasi. Like, like <clears throat> I don't know how they do it, but it's so good. And uh, if you're ever in the area, now parking stinks around here. Parking is tough. But if you can find a parking spot, you can go to that bar. I highly recommend it. Uh, let's see. We're gonna do a we're gonna do a little pizzas. It's crazy. I'm walking down the street now. And when I was a kid, <clears throat> I used to think the block between Allegheny and Clementine Street was the longest block in the world. And it it's really, it's not that much longer. I guess because the church is here, uh, it's a little bit longer. But this is Our Lady Help a Christian's Church. This, this was uh, the German church in Port Richmond. It's, it's no longer open. 
I hear there there are talks on on Facebook that other churches in this neighborhood are closing. I hear the activity. There are talks about closing my old church. Uh, so this was the rectory, the rectory to Our Lady Help of Christians. Fun story about this place. When I was in the sixth grade, somebody wanted to fight me. And I was going to fight them. I wasn't really a fighter as a kid. I was more of a coward. And uh, <laughs> I knocked on the rectory door in the sixth or seventh grade. I think it was the sixth grade. And I, I asked the priest to hear my confession because I thought I was going to die. So I, uh, I told the, uh, the priest my confession, and uh, he actually did it. It was really nice. And I, didn't, and I always, <clears throat> if I did something really bad, like if I did something like, I don't know, something that I wasn't proud of, like, I don't know, like if I stole something, like if I stole a pack of gum, I would go to Our Lady Help of Christians for confession and not my church because the priest at this church didn't know me. And uh, so this is Our Lady Help of Christians, the German church. It closed down like a, a few years ago. It's all fenced in. Wow. That's, oh, wow. There's the school. The whole thing's fenced in. I guess you got to fence it in. There's a church in Kensington, Ascension Church, where a lot of heroin addicts broke in. I'm like living there now. And this courtyard used to be open. You got a church, the rectory, and the school. The school closed down a long time ago. I don't know what. And they got the time for all the masses. So, back to Gall Street. <sighs> right here at the corner where that, that Allstate uh, building is, that used to be Mama Yagles. And um, that was a penny candy store. And, and it, had, it had some video games. And they sold soda. I, I think milkshakes, but I don't... I only went here for candy. And the whole thing. This is Mama Yagles now. Wow. So that's Mama Yagles now. But on this side here was a counter. And it went all the way back. And it was all penny candy. And on underneath it was a glass case. And there was like the more expensive candy bars and stuff. And the arcade games were on that side. Something was wrong. Maybe they made sandwiches. I don't know. I was more of an Ethel's guy, but if I wanted penny candy, I went to Mama Yagles. And then that professional consultant services, <clears throat> that used to be Northeast Hobby Shop. And that was run by this old guy who, uh, you know, he sold model trains and cars and spray paint and, uh, uh, you know, hobby shop stuff. And you go in there, you buy the stuff. Um, and uh, he was there for a while and I, I'm, I'm assuming he passed away he was an old guy, real nice guy <clears throat> I remember I was trying to get get into trains, my one friend was into trains and I was trying to get into it, it I just didn't like it but uh, I remember one time I had a dollar and the train was a dollar fifty and I told him it was my first train I was buying and he said you know what you, get, you take it for free and I was like ah, that's but you know what he, he was really he was trying to be a drug dealer trying to get me my first fix for free unfortunately it didn't take i didn't like uh model trains all right so that's that's gall street that's gall from clearfield to allegheny and uh what we're gonna do is i'm gonna do this every sunday just walk around tell a few stories walk a block or two maybe three or four who knows uh, but I'm going to try to make them about 10 minutes long. <clears throat> these all these porch houses. Uh, you know what's nice about these houses though? They're really kept up nice. The windows are good. The paint looks fresh. The worst thing, the parking. But uh, it's a friendly area. Everyone was nice. Uh, American flags all around. Uh, okay, so that's it. That's my 1980s look back on Gall Street in Port Richmond. Make sure you hit like and subscribe, and I will sail with you later. Toodles!